Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Highlands. Tonight, it's section action in a game for first place as the Highlands Golden Rams host the Knock Knights, along with the Dean Mike Choma. This is Mike Pavlik greeting you from Highlands. We have Landon upstairs along with Hired Muscle Dom. Uh, Dean, uh, coming off of Saturday's game, Luke Cochran had a big game for Highlands, scoring a career-high 44, but the Rams were losers to Sarah Catholic. Yeah, Mike, if you do the math, and I'm a mathematician, that was 61 of our 70 points. We need more from the other guys, there's no doubt about it. But if you talk about Highlands defense, giving up 70 points, excuse me, giving up 82 when we scored 70, shouldn't happen. We ever given up 60 points a game, we should do a much better job than that. Defensively, just didn't have it on Saturday. Well, in that game, uh, it, during one of the scraps, Antoine McDaniel was ejected from that game. And you know the WPIL rules, if you get thrown out of a game, you cannot play the next game. So he will not be dressed for Highlands here tonight. There's a lot of stuff that went on that wasn't called uh, in that game. Um, Antoine happened to be the one that get caught, so we'll be without him tonight. What are the Rams going to do to take his place? Well, Mike, it shortens up the bench, that's for sure. We're down to a seven-man rotation. Mason Swagger being the seventh man. But I think the key tonight is our two seniors have to step up. Dan Timmons, Seth Cohen, we'll call them our center with ten, ten fouls. But they're going to have to contribute tonight. They're going to have to play a lot more. Hopefully Antoine learned a lesson, Mike. That game meant nothing. But again, like I said, he got caught. There was a lot of push and shoving beforehand. But somebody had to go with him. Hopefully it's a lesson learned, but it's not going to cost us a section game tonight. Well, hopefully. The Knock Knights, Dean, also 2-0 in section. And these two teams are like looking in a mirror. No doubt about it, Mike. Again, both coaches are in their seventh year. This year is very interesting. Knox playing their tenth game on the road already. We know about our road schedule. We've been through it many times. We're tied in section, though. It was for first place tonight, undefeated in section. Both teams have three losses. And, again, they played very tough competition. It's like looking in the mirror. One of their similarity. Only one senior starter on both squads. So we're going to see each other the next couple years. Yeah, we will. And this should be a dandy. These two teams are going to play once again at Saxonburg. And I really believe that these two games are going to be for the section championship. I think one of these two teams will win it. I believe so, too, Mike. And you got to protect your house. That's for sure. Big one here tonight. And the Rams have won 15 in a row here on their own floor. All right, tip-off coming up. It's Highlands, it's Knock, and it's right after this. All right, we are ready for the starting lineups tonight, Dean. First, the Knock Knights down to our right, the Traveling Blues. They come in 8-3, and three, Mike. They'll start number 2, Scott Fraser, a junior 6-2, averages 15 points a game. 6-2, junior guard, number 15, Jared Schreckengoff. Per game. In the middle is number 23, Brady McKee, a junior 6'3, averages 7 points per game. 6'2, junior guard, number 33, Jake Scheidt, averages 5 points a game. And their leading scorer and the guy that hits them all from the outside, Julian Sanks, a 6'2 senior, averages 13.3 a game. Starting lineups brought to you by Dan Timmons Painting in a Trona Heights, Pennsylvania. 40 years and counting, they got you covered. And Mike, 6'2 juniors abound there. They're not big, big, but they're all 6'2. We will start number one, Seth Cohen, a 6'2 senior, coming in averaging 7.1 per game. Number 11, Corey Myers, junior, 6' averages 8.4 per game. 5'9", sophomore, number 13, Dom Pacey, averaging 6.6 per game. 6'7", junior, the big man in the middle, Johnny Christ, wears number 20, averaging 15.2 per game. Coming off his 44-point performance against Sarah, number 23, Luke Cocker, 6'2", junior, averages 21.8 per game. I got a chance to talk to Mr. Timmons tonight over there, sitting with Nick Patrician in the front row, Sam Hueys over there. It is another who's who tonight here today. Tonight, Dean. Big crowd. Remember to beautify and protect. Call Dan Timmons Painting, 724-224-2851. Dan Timmons Painting. They got you covered. The tip-off will be brought to you by Mason Elite Hoops at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall. Individualized basketball training for third graders all the way up through varsity and beyond. And even takes kids for Sarah Catholic. <laughs> Mason Elite Hoops Facebook page. Go visit them right now. Well, 
Well, Mike, a big crowd for a Tuesday night, that's for sure. And it just goes to show you what happens when you get local teams involved, especially local teams that are good. Eight and three, not undefeated in section. First, the Highlands Bowl Rams, six and three, also undefeated in section. And we have an all-star referee. We do. Veterans, Dom DeFrancis, Joe Zaholchek, and Ron Richards. That's right, Ron Richards. Ron Richards, the former Plum head coach, twice the Plum head coach. The all-time series is 33-32 Highlands. Highlands has won the last four. Knock won the previous sub. Isn't that something, huh? And uh, the last time Knock won was here five years ago, January 3rd, 2014. Knock 47, Highlands 33. The tap. Yeah, it's got to go white. It's going to go to Highlands, yep. right? Joe Zolchek makes that call. So uh, those are some of the uh, pertinent numbers. Another pertinent number? Highlands has won 15 in a row here at home. It's important we defend, especially, like I said, with the half to go out to knock. It's always tough out there. Now Pacey out top between circles. Knock 8-3, and three, Highlands 6-3, and three, Cochran 4-3, and it goes into the girders behind, and it's a turnover Highlands. Hit the stanchion. We talked to Scott Briggs, the uh, longtime voice of the Knights on radio in Butler. He said that they are so dependent on whether they come out hitting their threes early. And they did that the game here in the championship game of the Christmas tournament last year, including that man, Sanks, who had six of them. He had 13 threes against Highlands last year and took the Rams to overtime. That was a great game last year. We're in section mates last year. We're right, and now we're back at it, and it as it should be, by the way. Yes. We were in the same classification and not in the same section. That was silly. Pace almost got that one. Shrek and Goss now got it to the corner. This is Frazier driving through. Oh, Frazier yeah. put it in, no whistles, and it's 2 nothing. Looked like it charged me, Mike. We might have saw one of those after the release charges. We were talking about that the other day. Right, you never see those yeah. anymore. They never count the, count the basket ever. 2 nothing night. Silence with the ball. Here's Cochran right side. Dump it into Christ. Drives. Wow. Oh, he's got it whacked in the face, and there was no call. And Shite back the other way. Steal by Christ. He's one on three, though. He's going to go through anyway. Put it up off the glass. Missed it. Rebound knock. It's Frazier. Now they're back three on two. Frazier stops. Pops. Scores. And it's four nothing knock. Frazier coming off his season high against Deer Lake the other day. Mike, he was 17 for 17 for the foul. And a school record. Cochran loops it down low, comes back out, corner to Pacey. Now Myers left side. Out of the corner, it's Cochran shot off the back rim, no good. Rebound to Scheidt. Talk about Brady McKee when we have a chance. They missed him all last year. There's a travel. Brady McKee, number 23, missed last season. He had a vertebrae issue yes. and missed the entire year. Um, and he was he was definitely missed by uh, these guys. Yeah, Mike, they were in that section of death last year. They just uh, oh, yeah. ran into buzzsaw there with Mars and Hampton and all those good teams. Moon also, Montour. You start naming them. They, they were 13-8 and eight two years ago and didn't make the playoffs. Down to John, he makes Rice made his own himself. room. Yep. Ron McNabb wanted a foul, but these guys are letting it go so far. It's 4-2. Let's call it even so far. How's that? This is shite. Physical play would favor the Golden Rams, I think, Mike. Now to Sanks. Sanks out top. He had 22 in that game here last year. Schreckengost also had 22. Out of Sanks for three. Here it comes. It's short. Rebound block out was Pacey nicely and let it go out of bounds. It's Highlands ball. As we mentioned, knock it 13 three-pointers. And that game for Highlands a year ago, won by Highlands, 80-69 to in overtime. The Rams trailed by six at halftime and by eight in the third quarter. Cochran had 20. Christ had 19. Ersig 16. Signorella 11. Tanelli 8. I remember Sanks was unconscious. He was going deep, too. Man. And Ersig was the tournament MVP. That was a trivia question a couple weeks ago. That's right. Price all the way through. Up, it won't settle. Oh, that Rebound, they tip. And Knock has it. Brought down by McKee to 6'3", Jr. Plenty of juniors in Ron McNabb's starting lineup. Now, a nice move in the lane, and a shot was missed by Schreckengoss. And it's pulled down by Cohen. The filling out process. Huh? Lead it out ahead to Myers. Back to Cochran. I think it helps both sides that they played last year. Oh, nice. No look to Christ. Bodies on the floor. Johnny ties the game. Now, Mike, that was a good no call because there was momentum going from the defender and Johnny going into it. I think that was a good no call. We're tied at four. Knox scored the first four. Highlands the last four. This is Scott Frazier. Not only did he shoot 17 for 17 the other night, Frazier, he's 86% on the year. If it comes down to it, you don't want yeah. him there. Nope. This is shite. 
Back out top, and Sanks is open. He lets it go. It's good. The problem with switching on man, Mike, is you go under screens and you get that shot if you need it. And that time, Sanks sunk it. <laughs> Indeed. 7-4 knock. Now Cochran steps back and lets it go. It's an air ball. Rams can't get it, and Knock will keep it. So Luke Cole from the outside so far. Mason Swanger into the Highlands lineup. And again, Mike, that would normally be Antoine McDaniels coming in this spot, but uh, because he's not out here tonight, Mason Swanger had, moves up in the rotation. He started our last home game. He had six points. That was the game here uh, Friday night against Freeport. Did a good job. He did. Now they go corner with a three off the rim, and there's Cohen. Getting it to Johnny Christ. The three-point Knights lead. Lead it ahead to Myers against two men. No foul. No foul. Cohen's back up went in. First two for Seth tonight, and it's 7 6 Knights. Shite now. Dropped it back to Frazier, and a blocking foul against Islands. Basket didn't count. It'll be on Christ as first. Uh, you know what, Mike? I can live with that. Frazier goes to the line. It's not the, the guy you don't want to put at the line. I thought you said it was a shite drew to foul. Now, shite's a 29% foul shooter, Mike. Frazier, 86%. He'll shoot two here at 339. I'm going to circle him already, huh? Zach? The crowd is very big tonight. Not as big as it was Friday. Frazier's got five early. But that was an all-timer of a crowd. I yeah. mean, we, we had people saying back to the 0-2 Burrow game is, is probably the last... The last time there were that many people here. And, and there were more people here than there are for some Cajun Classic games. Frazier missed, Mike. Write it down. One for two. Swanger all the way through. Got shut off by the taller Frazier. And kicked it out to Kreis at the rim. Now to Myers. Pacey drives in. Dumps it off to Johnny. In trouble. Double teamed. Myers goes up the ladder to catch it. Drives all the way through. Nice lay in. We're tied at eight. First two for Corey Myers and the Rams. Balancing out the scoring a little bit. We talked about that in the pregame. Shite. Oh, tipped by Pacey. Comes back out to McKee. Sanks right side. He has a height advantage on Swanger. Yeah, trying to take advantage of it. Swanger shut him off though, Mike. Now Shite. Less than three to go first quarter. Schreckengoss tried to lose a man, and he's going to get a little knuckle dimer on the way to the basket. No shot. For all that bang and pace, he gets called, huh? That'll be his first. That's two on Highlands. Knock is not committed. One Ron McNabb at his seventh season. We are talking to him before the game. He and Stosh came in the same year to these particular schools. And you think about it, 14 years at Valley prior. I mean, at Burrow, yeah. Than that. Ooh, now Offensive that, foul that against, they got. against the Knock Knights, and I believe that's on Scheidt. It is. That'll be the first one on them. Yeah, he had four years at Valley because he played there. 999 <laughs> points for Ron McNabb. He couldn't have found one foul shot yeah, somewhere. Yeah, God bless him, huh? He was a great player, and I know because we were in high school at the same time. I don't know how come he looks. He keeps looking so young. He looks he, God bless him, yep. He's been blessed by that. Mom and Dad here with him tonight. His dad was my backcourt mate, Mike. I remember. I tell that story. Pacey. Inside to Christ. Back out to Swanger. Three ball on the way. Yeah. It's down. Mason Swanger gives the Rams the lead. 11-8, their first of the game. Now, driving it was Frazier. Dumped it off on the baseline to Schreckengoss. Took a peek, wouldn't go, and Myers wants to start the break. But they get back quickly, and they have only allowed 47 Our points idea. a game. Yep, boy, and that's huh? the mark of a Ron McNabb team. Oh, oh Pacey had a layup and missed it. Yep. But Timmons got it back. No foul there. Nothing happening. Rebound to wow. Schreckengoss. They're letting him bang, Mike. They are. Now, with our short bench, it might be to our advantage. Yes. Frazier drains a three and ties it back up. He's got eight here in the first quarter. Eight of the 11. Have to account for him, Mike. Oh, what a move by Johnny, and he doesn't go, but he draws the foul. My goodness. He was above the rim dropping it. He left a couple nights with broken ankles in that lane. Yep. And now Johnny will go to the line and shoot a couple. Our first trip there tonight. Highlands, our last five games, have shot 74% from the line when they shot 44% the first four games. Johnny settling in at 53, makes the first. He's got five. Highlands back in the lead, 12 to 11. We've talked to Francis to the Freeport game Friday night. He was here? Yes, back to back. 
It's our first look at Ron Richards when he hasn't been coaching Quam. Looks good looking. He lost a little weight. He too. does. The stripes do that for him. I'll see him at carnivores every once in a while. I think he might be a regular. Our buddy Justin Dujak down there, the former great Riverview quarterback linebacker that led them to a title back in the 90s. Oh, bad Oh, there. it was. And that was McKee for his first two of the night. And Knock retakes the lead 13-12. And that's one time switching on everything, Mike, unfortunately. for The Rams throw it away. He got overpowered there. Highland second turnover. Yeah, you can't get him isolated in the box like that. No. Ron McNabb saw that, and he wants to get it again. One-point knock lead, 118 to go first quarter here. As they've gone back and forth, kind of, you said, it's a feeling out process, exactly what it's been. Now Shite stops and pops and got fouled on the way up. That's a good call, unfortunately, the second one on Pacey. And nobody can get in foul trouble tonight, Mike, with this short bench. But okay. Shite's the guy you want at the foul line, 29% on the year. And the first one is no good. And Carter Leary is going to enter the Highlands lineup. Carter's a freshman. And Mason Swanger is a sophomore. Yep. Carter played a lot in the JV game, Mike. Lost it by a point. Second one takes a peak, doesn't go. And a rebound to Cochran. Highlands down one. Swanger left side. Drives in. Kicked it back out to Myers. But Sanks got out on him. Now Cochran over to Swanger for three. It's down. And the Rams... Take the lead back. Swanger second from out there. Mason Swanger hitting those threes, Mike. Helping the Golden Rams to a two-point lead. Ooh. Now it's loose. Ooh. Cochran in a battle. And that's, that's a good no call game right there, Mike. Yep. There's two guys going for the ball. Luke Cochran touched it last. Ronnie, Ronnie blocked me out there. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Though. Ryan Lang into the game, a freshman, six foot, number 20. And now, looked like a jump ball, but I think they're going to get Carter Leary. We'll see. Tom DeFrancis with the call. Be Corey Myers yep. first, Mike. And Ryan Lang is a freshman, Mike. He averages eight points a game, though. But 83% from the strike. They shoot 71%. Highland shoots 62%. And it, it took a lot to get to yeah. 62%. 15-14, Highland's by one. Lang makes them both. Tied at 15, our fourth tie. We've had three lead changes. Didn't expect anything but it, huh? Now Swanger. Found Myers left side. 29 seconds left of the quarter. I should play for the last one. They'll get the possession arrow too, Mike. Cochran into the paint. Dumped down to Timmons. Oh, and it's blocked by McKee. Sanks the other way. And they want him to be patient. 15 seconds. They also have the arrow. And Lang steps into a three and he cans it. Well, so much for being patient, huh, Mike? Knock back on top. 18-15. Rams put it high off the glass and miss it. And, oh, in and out as McKee let it go from the top of his own circle. And Knock will take the first quarter lead. It's Knights 18 and Highlands 15. Entertaining first quarter. Chance to talk about B&J Sports located at 1605 Freeport Road in the Trent Heights. What a week it was for Glenn and his family last week. Bobby inducted to the Hall of Fame. They've been outfitting your local teams and great sports fans of the AK Valley for the past 45 years. When it comes to all your sporting good needs, look no further than B&J Sports. Glenn Mills and the friendly staff provide the personal touch. What do you need? Jackets, team uniforms, trophies, plaques. They got it all. Any kind of equipment, you can't beat the service of B&J Sports. They're up at 9 to 5.30 weekdays and Saturday 9 to noon. Stop in today or give Glenn a call at 724-226-2762. Five decades says it all. B&J Sports, Glenn and Rose over there. Tonight, Bobby's back in Scranton. And Jeff's daughter won another one last night. Peter's time ship. The, uh, they're undefeated, aren't they? Yep, girls undefeated. Not just in section overall. So Knock will get the ball to start the second quarter. They lead the game 18-15. There have been one, two, three, four lead changes and four ties already. And I think that's the kind of game this one's going to be. I think anybody gets out to maybe a, a six or an eight point lead, that's going to be a big lead here tonight. 
And Mason Swanger coming in, hitting six big ones off the bench. And Luke Cochran hadn't scored yet. Mason's staying out there, Mike. I got to get up and look at Johnny. What's going on there? Well, Johnny's in. It's Pacey that's not. Pacey has the two foul. Mason's basically taking his spot now, I'd say. I did not see Johnny. There's Johnny. There's he. Exactly. This is Lang. Now to Sank's right side. Sank stumps it inside to Frazier. Kicked it back to baseline, and it's stepping on the baseline with Schreckengoss and turning it over. Ron McNabb, not happy. A familiar chant for a coach. I just told you that. Been eight, there, done it. Won 83 games in his seven years here. And again, playing those last two years in section of death. That's very difficult. Here's Swanger out top. Josh, yep. Cochran right side. Johnny's got to get some touches here, Mike. Yeah, he does. Well, they tried. It was saved by Cohen. It's loose on the floor. Johnny does come out of there with it. And what's the call? They're going to be yeah. a foul or not. That'll be the third on the night. Highlands has committed four at 7-12, 18-15. Shrek and Goss second. And they don't need that. He averages eight a game, but he's important. Highlands inbound the ball. Myers loops it in to Christ. They collapse on him. He goes up and puts it in anyway. He's got seven here, and it's 18-17, a one-point night's lead. Well, I ain't getting a lot of good minutes here for Ron McNabb. Now to Frazier left side. Lang trying to blow that baseline. I've got it around him, man. Got it to Sanks. Here's his three. It's good. You've got to count for him every trip, Mike. He's got two threes. He's got six. They're up by four. Their biggest lead, 21-17. around a Johnny Christ screen, and now Sanks just reached in and took it away, picked his pocket, Two off spots. to Frazier, and a foul before the block, it's going to be on Myers. Too soft there, Mike, you got to have better control of the ball, yeah. and then gets and Frazier and the is shooting guard. 86%, oh, with basketball season in full swing, you've probably been putting off that much need to work around the house, why not let the pros at Beanie Home Renovations install a new kitchen, bathroom, game room, or addition to make your home a winner. Frazier's missed two out of three. Yeah, Unbe- yeah. Announcer's yeah. Yeah. With over 100 years of combined experience, owner Brian E and his team of pros at Beanie Home Renovations guarantee that your job will be completed on time exactly the way you want it and in plenty of time to have that championship celebration. Customer service is their top priority, so why not give Brian a call today? 724-351-3172. Beanie Home Renovations, where the B is always busy. Makes the second one. He has nine. They're up five. 22 17 nights. Here's Swanger. Over to Cochran. Drives into the paint, tries to dump it down to Cohen, but on the overplay, McKee stole it. Now McKee almost walked, got it to Lang. He drives in against Christ, tried to put up a reverse and missed it, but the Knights got the rebound. Frazier for three, it's good, and they lead by eight. And a turnover by Highlands. Saw that the other day, Mike. Not on the same page, Johnny and Luke on the inbound. And they find themselves down eight and have a hole to dig out of here. They get into this lulls where they seem to get rattled a little bit. McKee for three off the rim, but Schreckengoss stepped on the baseline. That's the second time we've got that tonight, Mike. Hottest commits five turnovers. They're averaging 15 a game. Four, they're forcing 12 a game. Now Pacey. Right side to Cochran. Needed a cutter, but he got it to Cohen. Now out to Kreis. Now to Swanger out top. Swanger penetrates, goes in, dumps it off to Cohen. On the floor, back up, off the glass, no good. And Brady McKee with the rebound. They're killing the Rams on the glass, as Scott was telling me before the game. They have a devil of a time rebounding. Yep. And not, not having that problem tonight. Well, they're all 6'2", Mike. That helps. We have a 5'9 guy and a 5'7 guy out there. Line put it behind the back, got it to Schreckengost. He stops and pops and scores. 
First two for Jared Schreckengost, and it's 27-17. And that was over the outstretched arms of Johnny. A 14-2 knock run. And trust me, Mr. McNabb knows how to take the air out of the ball if needed. Oh, and Luke threw a bad pass into the lane and knocked, turned it over. Rams are very fortunate there. Doing a good job on Luke Hawker, Mike. He's yet to score. Schreckengoss gets a rest. Adam Bajuzic comes in, the junior, number one. Now Cochran drives into the paint, goes up, and gets fouled. He'll shoot two at 4.56 and a 10-point knock lead. Lucas, 78% foul shoot. That one's on Ryan Lang, his first for the freshman. Many companies can give you car insurance quotes, but only Nationwide backs it up with dedicated licensed professionals and superior claim service. Mel and John at the Boucher Agency want to make ensuring your new team driver a stress-free experience. Make sure to ask about Nationwide's young driver discount when you compare. No one beats Boucher's rates for young drivers. Call your hometown Nationwide agents, John and Mel, 724-224-4300, and they'll help you choose the coverage that's right for your family. Remember, in the AK Valley, the Bouchers and Nationwide are on your side. Luke makes one out of two and cuts it to nine. Here's Sanks. Remember, knock here in that championship game of the Christmas tournament a year ago, led by six at halftime and by eight in the third quarter. Now Lang no, wow. got under control. There was nothing. Wow. And Christ got the rebound. Rams trying to get some transition. Out to Timmons with the layup and scores. First two for Danny, and it's 27-20. Oh, Sanks nearly an overplay by Cochran to get it. They go to Lang out of the corner. It's off the rim, and Cochran got the rebound. Now Swanger gets it to Pacey, and the Rams down seven with the basketball. Cochran all the way through. Oh, he got mugged there. You gotta get Johnny involved in the offense, too. Frazier kicked it to Sanks in the corner, lets it go, scores. He can do that, Mike. He's got nine. Lead back to ten. Oh, uh, oh Pacey threw it off a leg. A lucky there. Boy, how many times the Highlands turned it over tonight? Five apiece. Five, so far, yeah, it's right. five, and it could have been way more. They've got a few breaks on balls that went off a of, went off and of knocked people out of bounds down here. At least three times that's happened. Mm -hmm. They get it into uh, Cochran. Tried to use the screen, but now he gets trouble with the ball on his hip, and he walked. Rams turn it over at 3.44 first half and knock with a 10-point lead. Johnny has not touched the ball the last four trips, Mike. He's got to get involved in the offense. Now Scheidt gets it out top to Sank's right side. He doesn't need much to shoot. That's two. Put on the line. Missed it. I think he knew it was inside the line. <laughs> Here comes Basie. 10-point lead. He doesn't need much room. Cochran is fouled on his way to the basket. That'll be the fifth on knock. Those are even at five apiece. And the Rams will key it in at 321. But Juzic picks up his first. Schreckengost has two. He's the only one in trouble. The only one for Highlands is Pacey with two. Backcourt to Swanger. Now Cochran. With Pajuzic on him. Luke yet to make a field goal. Hooks it to the corner. Swanger's open. His three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound. Christ had the ball. I don't know who they're going to call the foul on, but Joe Zolchak is going to get here. He'll come over and tell us. It's on Schreckengoss, and that's his third. Yep. Bring Brady McKee back in. Three oh six to go, first half. Well, he tried to loop it into Christ, but Cochran did a good job to save the bacon. And Cochran drives to the basket, Mr. Christ, follow no good. Rebound Knights. Guess what? Luke's coming up with yeah, Here's Sanks now. 
they get it inside, and a shot is missed. Rebound, Frazier. We got two of them down. Frazier makes the basket. Price is hurt. Two guys down on that play, Mike. No, it's Pacey and Pacey too. And Cochran was down a moment ago. Looked like Luke got hit like in the throat by Johnny. We're just unfortunately a couple plays. We just uh, we're tripping over each other. And Knock leads it by 12 now, 32 to 20. Uh, just ugly, Mike. Yep. I mean. Rams just being outplayed so far on their home floor, and that and also, long home winning streak yeah. in jeopardy tonight. They just don't look, don't look coordinated. They're tripping over each other. Uh -huh. yeah. It's warm in here again tonight, too, man. There's yeah. so many warm games. I think I've got a feeling that's about to end. Timmons out to Johnny Christ. Now to Myers' right side. And it goes down now, Mike. Pacey in the corner. To Swanger, lets a three go, and he hits his third one of the game. And if it wasn't for Mason Swanger tonight, I don't know where we'd be. 32-23, yep. it's a nine-point game. Career high for Mason. Now Sank steps back, got it out to Frazier. Swanger's in there banging, Mike, with McKee. Two minutes left first half. McKee thought about it, now steps inside the line, throws a two up and missed it, and the Knights get another rebound. Nice job blocking out by Fraser that time, Mike. Here's Bajuzic. Now Fraser right side. Around the screen, Fraser now got shut off by Myers in the corner. Going to go to the basket anyway. Oh, what a great move. He puts it in and draws the foul. 16 for Scott Fraser in the first half. Yeah, Mike, he had a big game against Deer Lakes the other day with 22, and he's picking up where he left off. And that's already over his average of 15. 34-23. And more bad news, Mike. Corey Myers now with three fouls for Hyde. But Frazier's missed three foul shots. And Knock got the rebound. Now a jump ball. Highlands will get it at 126. He missed seven coming into the night. Yeah. He's missed three tonight. But he hasn't missed much from the floor. He's got 16 to lead all scores. And Highlands trails by 11. Here's Pacey. Hands it off to Cochran. Now, luckily, all the guys that went down that last series are still in the game, so that's that's the good news at this point. Cochran right side. Long three on the way. It's off the rim. No good. Rebound, Christ. Couldn't get it. It's tipped like out of bounds. It should be bounds. Highland's ball. Yeah. It's not. Should have been. Yeah, it was. It, 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 the, a knock player was in between. I thought that's the hand that was on it, but I think Joe was blocked out. Well, watch the replay, huh? Less than a minute to go. And now Scheidt takes it all the way to the basket and gets fouled on his way in, and Timmons picks it up. I thought they get Johnny on that one, to be honest with you, Mike. Chance to talk about Highland Tire. Winner's here. Snow's on the way. No better time to get to Highland Tire than today. 26 consecutive years. Best place to buy it. Get an oil change. The last 24 years, and Tire's the last 26. Family and operates in 61. Highland Tire offers the largest and most complete inventory in the Pittsburgh area. If you don't see it, ask for it. They'll get it. And we'll give you the numbers after this play. This is Swanger now. Underneath the Timmons, and he lays it in. A 13-point lead down to 11. Yeah, Shite making two is an upset. Yeah. 36-25. <laughs> I think they may hold for one now. I would. Here's Shite. 36-25, Knights by 11. They have the basketball and have the arrow for the second half. Sanks is wide open. He's off the rim. Rebound Christ. The Rams need a basket here with nine seconds. Here's Cochran. Ball's tipped out of bounds. Right to Buzz Kreitz over there. Big Buzz makes the play. Hey, stop, 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 stop. Brian Lang, the freshman.
Fresh, we're gonna check Stosh in. wants a timeout. Gives me a chance to get those phone numbers for Highland Tire. In Trenum, 724-224-9222. In the Trenum Heights, 724-224-7900. Or Highland Integrity Alignment at 724-224-5900. Highland Tire, service, integrity, price, they deliver. Now, Dean, here in the last five and a half seconds, the Rams got to get a good shot up here, and I, I would suggest they get it into Johnny and see if they can get a three-point play out of it. Yeah, Mike, uh, let's give, I guess, not credit, because Johnny has not been able to touch the ball here. I would think that'd be a priority here and in the second half. Remember, we told you about that game at Christmas time last year. Knock led by six at halftime, 36 to 30. And guess what? They have 36 points again. They haven't shot it as well tonight. This has been a little different. They have six three pointers, which you'll take, but it's it's been more of a a consistent effort on their part, really. Stosh is famous for drawing something up coming out of the timeout at the end of the quarter. Let's see if we can get something here, Mike. Very important basket. Run Just from a mental standpoint. Run a screen up top. Johnny screens for Swanger. Five seconds. They got to get it up. Oh. They try to go back to Cocker, and that was ugly. Luke's going to let it go. A prayer is no good. And that's yeah. the end of the first half. That's, what, that's not what they drew up. And that was a microcosm of how their offense looked in the first half, to be perfectly yeah, honest. Gotta get going. That's the end of the first half with the score. Knock 36, Highlands 25. Back with stats and more right after this. All right, we're back at halftime with the Knock Knights with an 11-point lead, Dean. Well, Mike, the story is uh, Luke Hawker, one point at halftime, 44 the game before. Got to get him going. I still say Johnny got to touch the ball more. Johnny Price in the middle. He leads us. I assume he has seven points. Mason Swanger coming off, off the bench with nine. Wasn't for Mason. It could be worse than that. Trailing 36-25. Seth Cohen has two. Danny Timmons has four. Corey Myers has two. Story for the Knock Knights. Scott Fraser, 16 points, hot hand in the first half, along with Jordan Sanks with nine. Ryan Lang has five. Jake Sheet has two. Brady McKee has two. Jared Schreckengoss with two. Now, Joe Lucchino and his son Joseph proudly welcome you to the Lucchino Insurance and Financial Group, serving the AK Valley for decades. The Lucchinos are a broad-based financial advisory firm with a wide range of opportunities for both you and your business. And, Dean, the number you'd like to tell us about is 4% guaranteed on your money. Go to sleep every night, not have to look at the market in the morning. 4% guaranteed. Call Joe. Joe and Joe always know. You can call them today at 724-224-8908 or 724-905-7583. They're at 2318 Freeport Road, right next to Donut Connection. Why wait? Let Lucchino Insurance and Financial put you on the road to financial, and what's that word? Stability. Stability. Today. And speaking of stability, we could use a little bit out there with the boys in white. It's been a knock night's first half. They've come in here and pretty much dominated every area. Yeah, Mike, they come in 8-3, wins at Blackhawk, at Indiana Valley, at Mount Pleasant, Kiski and Eden up in the uh, Freeport Tournament, Yawking at Deer Lakes on Saturday, two losses, first game of the year against Armstrong, and they lost to Hampton by four, excuse me, third loss was Steel Valley. And again, one thing about Ron McNabb, Mike, you can hear the air going out of the ball right now, and he's an expert at it, and with an 11-point lead, I don't see him taking any bad shots. No, and they, you know, they want to play faster than they have in the past, and you can see they do. Um, but with the lead, you also want to play smart. And again, Islands faced a deficit here against Blackhawk at home, third quarter. They work it inside to Frazier. Oh, he's going to call, call a foul. Late call. Late I thought his feet might have been slipping out from under him, and maybe because he was bumped. <laughs> Wait. That's Johnny's second. And, and Mike, an interesting stat is Knock comes in in the section leading, allowing only 48 points a game. Right. And 47 overall. So that's that's a Ron McNabb team. What is with Scott? What is going on? He's missed four. But he missed seven the whole season. He's got 16 tonight. He hadn't done that the whole season. He has 15 for the season. So I think the yin and the yang, he'll take the I game. guess. 37 25. But he's the straw that stirs their drink. There's no doubt about that. Ian Sanks. There's Myers. Drives in, kicked it over to Pacey. The Rams are just, I don't know, choppy offensively. There's no flow on the offensive side. Yeah, not, not has a lot in the to half do with court. That, Mike, yeah. and, they, and really, they need to score in transition if this is the case, and they're, they're not doing that. Frazier, all great defense by Kreis. And Cohen got the rebound. And those soft passes, Mike. 
Now Johnny puts it on the floor, kicked it back out to Pacey. Maybe get Myers loose out there for a couple. Yep. He hasn't put one up yet. One two pointer on a layup. Christ goes baseline, had it taken away, and Knock will get it. Ninth time of this turnover, Knock has only committed five. Allen's only got to the line four times in the first half and made two of them. That's another problem. Yep. You got to get there more now that you're shooting them well, especially. And especially when you're down, clock, clock goes off. But they're not doing a very good job working the ball down inside. That's great defense by the boys in blue. Great pass by Sanks, and McKee finishes. 39-25, that's their biggest lead. Hey Mike, playing in a tough section last year, it looks like it's helping them out this year, huh? Yes. Pacey found a cutter, it's Christ. Oh, it's off the rim, no good. Couldn't even get that one to go. And Sanks now, off the feed from Schreckengoss. Now to Scheidt, corner to Frazier, hits a three. And they are going on all cylinders here tonight, Mike. Now back the other way, Cohen for the lay-in. And yes, we miss Antoine McDaniel, but is it a 15-point difference? I don't think so. Wow. Still, but we couldn't get anything off him, Mike. Pacey to Christ. And he's fouled. He's shoot two at 5.50. Back-to-back turnovers by Knock. You don't see that very often. Well, not tonight you haven't, that's for sure. This will send Johnny Christ to the line to shoot, too. And down 15, Mike. They're going to have to really focus in here now. And that's one way to try to get back in it is to get to the line. That's eight points for Johnny tonight. Swanger leads the way with nine. 14-point knock lead here at 5.50 third quarter. And turning that clock off, Mike, helps too. Johnny two out of two there. The Rams have to do it with defense. We talk about it every time you're behind. That's where you make your runs. They need to kick balls loose and get into transition. They haven't done that at all. No. Frazier's wide open, and here it comes. It's down. 23 for Frazier. Too easy, Mike. 45-29. A 16-point lead. Now Swanger runs a weave out top with Christ. Now he takes it all the way to the basket. Got around Frazier. I think got out of the way. Smartly. Yep. With a big lead off. like that. Yeah, why foul somebody? 45-31. Saints calling for the ball in the opposite wing. Now three is put up. They missed one. Human. Swanger the rebound. Yeah, they've got a high percentage here tonight, Mike. You're right. Now Cochran drives through, goes all the way in, and kicked it out of bounds. They've made eight three-pointers. We talked about they made 13 a game here last year. They have eight already? Yes. Wow, that's Four by time. Frazier, three by Sanks, and one by Lyon. Well, Swanger's match Sanks until there. Sanks has 11. 47-31. Knock led by as many as 17. They lead by 16 now. Price drives in, puts it up around, and good. Johnny's getting his touches now, Mike, but is it too late? I think he's making sure he's getting it. Sanks for three. It's short. Rebound to Cochran. Coach McNabb not happy with that one, Mike. Lead it ahead to Cohen. He lays it up. Missed it. Rebound. And Swanger's fouled by Sanks. From behind. On Julian. I think that's his first. Yes. The 6'2 senior. The only senior that plays any, any minutes at all for Ron McNabb here tonight. Brady! So they won't be going anywhere next year either. Price can't get it to go. Got the rebound. Johnny now with 15. He's our lead scorer. And eight in the third quarter, 47-35. Loops it to Sanks in the corner. 12-point game. It's out of bounds, and Knock will keep it at 354. Ron Richards with the call. Thought we might have got a tip there. Foot, but wasn't set. Oh, boy. Oh, right. Frazier got around everybody and laid it in. 
got blew, 25. Blew up the baseline. I remember Jordan, Jordan Shoup scored 35 here once. The best knock performance on this floor. Christ all the way down. Tony goes down in a heap after that. 49-37. It's a 12-point game. Rams trying to stay in touch. Yeah. Shite. Now Frazier left side. Corner for McKee. I'm really surprised Nock hasn't tried to take the air out a little bit. Mike. A steal by Kreis, but he lost it in the Highlands crowd over there. Romello Freeman. Don, Mart Don Martinka. Noah Gillette. Noah Gillette over there. Brayden Timmons. Ryan Brian Signorella. Signorella. Yep. Here's Schreckengoss. Back to Sanks. Schreckengoss out of the yeah. corner. High dribble, and that's a carry. Eighth knock turnover. Highlands committed 10 so far. Ron McNabb, intense, very much like Ron Richards was yes. when he coached the Plum. You know, Ron Richards becoming an official is kind of like John Dillinger becoming a prison guard. <laughs> that's we said it's the dark side, but he's liking it, he says. He gave those guys a hard time. <laughs> yeah, they're going to grab a travel. Ooh. Looked like Fraser had his hand in the cookie jar, but they're going to say Johnny walked before the foul. Stosh doesn't think so. Joe Zol Zolchak shaking his head as he walked by. Sanks out of the corner. He walked. Ah, he turned it over. Here comes Pacey back the other way. Against Scheidt. Laid it up. No foul. There he he didn't go. get it, but he's fouled. A shoot, too. That's three on Jake Scheidt. So Pacey will shoot a couple. 67. Well, I got a minute, Mike. I want to mention uh, we got a night at the races this Saturday night, January 12th, at Toronto Heights VFW. Doors open at 6 p.m. The first race is 7. It's always a fun night at the races. Dinner, dessert, draft beer, all for $20. You can buy your tickets at the door or seek hate beat as before. So Saturday night, this Saturday, BFW, 6 p.m. coming in, 7 o'clock, place your bets. Adam Bajuzic about to check in. And uh, Dom makes one out of two. His first point of the night. He and Luke each have one and both... One out of two from the line. Here we do those, Mike. Nice at the races. Those are fun. Yep. They're all pre-taped, but the tapes are right. Still. Well, they used to do that. They used to have a TV show like that, and you could play like a Foodland or something. You'd get a ticket. Yes. And uh, steal Here's by Myers. Over. Myers has it. But look how fast four white uh, blue shirts get back. Lead it up to Johnny. Oh. Send it in, big fella. At the 220 mark, maybe that'll get him started, Mike. Now it's a nine-point game. The one thing that Doc can't match, Mike. Now Frazier over to Sanks. His three for the answer. In and out, no good. Rebound Price. Chance to cut it to seven. Here's Cochran the other way. Cochran all the way through. And Shot, that. score, foul. Sanks tried to go down with the mic, but Luke wrote it in there. He's got three. Sanks gets his second, and all of a sudden, Hines has a chance to cut it down. It's a two-possession game. Like Julian Sanks picks up his second in a hurry here. It's a seven-point game with 158 left of the third quarter. Big run by the Global Rams here in the third. Down by 17. They've cut 10 off of it. Every shot's going to be a big one here, Mike. Cochran hits it. And now it's a six-point game. Two possessions. 49-43. This is Ryan Lang, the freshman. Out to Sanks' right side. Now Sanks had trouble with it and had to get it back over to Lang. Can't get around Pacey. Frazier now between circles. 137 left of that quarter. Here's Sanks, the Highlands crowd alive. And there's Nock taking the air out of him, Mike, as I predicted. Frazier got in trouble, but got it back to Bejuza. And the Rams have done this with defense, forcing Nock turnovers. Frazier for three. It's way short. Rebounds put back up. Nobody blocked out McKee. The Rams players look surprised he was yeah, standing there. Looked big, Mike. Looked like they were going to get the ball back, but 
Give him the key credit. He 51, held in 43. Myers carries it all the way in. Missed the shot. Bodies all over the floor, but McKee got the rebound. That's a big sequence for knock there on either end. Yep. Here's Bajuzic walks to the baseline. Shot is missed. Pacey lost it, and it's Knox ball. We haven't got one of those calls yet, Mike. Not that they're wrong, but we haven't got one of those calls yet. Now you also got to get the ball. Yep. I mean, these balls are 50-50 balls, and you got to get them, especially when you're trying to fight from behind like this. Knights off the inbound, got it to Sanks around Swanger. Steps back, lets a three go, it's short. And, no, and again, no Rams there for the board. Frazier, short again. Look at this, Mike. Now Frazier will score. He's got 27. Who's taking a timeout? Timeout Highlands, yeah. I, I believe, because nobody thought it was important they got the rebound. They talk about being out rebounded, Mike. They are tonight uh, doing a great job on the boards. The Knox Knights. I get a chance to say about Planet Fitness Heights Plaza. January 15th, Mike's last day to join for a dollar. It's the Judgment Free Zone. Planet Fitness provides a unique setting where everyone, I mean everyone, my brother down in Memphis and his wife are joining the Memphis gym down there this week. And again, they're taking advantage of that $1 uh, down, $10 a month. Open staff 24-7, friendly staff, unlimited fitness and training. Teen 13 and 15 can join accompanied by an adult, 18 or older. Each time they visit, 16-year-olds can have their own membership. Remember, memberships are available for as low as $10 a month. Stop in at Planet Fitness today. Get there before January 15th. Only pay a dollar to enroll. Beautiful. I got my uh, pizza. It was Pizza Monday. Pizza Monday? Pizza Monday, first Monday of each month. Bagel Tuesday was the day. I never make it for the bagels. You almost have to do twice double the workout to try to equal out the pizza that you ate. I got my 10,000 steps in today, Mike. Are you, are you there? Did you make it today? I'm actually 11,000. You're 11,000. Okay. I hit golf balls today. It was warm, and then the wind kicked up, and then it had a little windstorm. I have a six-month-old basset hound. He didn't want to come in because he didn't understand the word storm because he's never seen one before. It was a dandy. Eddie yeah. Tiorski said he was a little... It started blowing. He it. wanted to come in. That was it for that. He saw thunder and lightning, he said. Uh, I believe it. It, it. it was happening. January the 8th. Unbelievable. Elvis's birthday. Here's Pacey. It's a swanger. He was rocking and rolling. Ramsey to score here. 15 seconds. Myers, three balls. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, Cochran. At 11 seconds. Fouls on the floor. Uh, is the basket, the basket good? Basket, I yeah. think. They're scoring it. That is good basket yeah. for Cochran. There is no 25. He might have been. It might have been 23. It might have been McKee. There's a 15 out there. That's yeah. Schreckengoss. It could have been that one. Let's see what we're going to come up with. Caleb Radishek might check in the lineup. Uh, First time we've seen yeah. him uh, since, well, I mean, since a couple hours ago, but yeah. playing in the JV game. Cochran for the three-point play. He doesn't go. Rebound, Christ. Oh, it looked like he was fouled, but no call. And Schreckengoss got the rebound. Eight-point game, two seconds, one. They got a hurry, and they're not going to get a shot up. And the good news is Highlands gets the basketball. So they got two. It's 53-45, cutting it to eight. Off that 17-point lead. Anticlimactic, though, Mike. They had a chance with, with the ball down six and couldn't get anything going. So, All right. Well, it's time for the trivia time, A&B Pizza time. Call 724-224-5311 to order your A&B Pizza now. Not now. Because they're on vacation. Until January 15th, okay? So, or that, so remember that on January 15th and order your A&B pizza then. Yes. Okay, go ahead. I tried calling Sunday to get a pizza. I want right. to say Mike and Mike said give me a dollar off and I got the bad news. They weren't available. All right, Mike. I'm going to take you back to the 6 7 team. They go out, win their first 19 games in a row on a way to a 21-3 record. Who broke the streak? It was game number 20 for game 20 number in a row. 20. Man, was this a section game? Section was game. Was it knock? It was knock, Mike. <laughs> At knock. Triple overtime? No, that was the 95-94 okay. one. And that was the year after. This one was a spanking, 65-55. 
If you remember the, that. Yep, that was a tough one on the boys that night. Well, serving the AK Valley since 1958. A and B Pizza, 2418 Freeport Road, Natrona Heights. Call 724-224-5311. And remember, since we nailed that trivia question tonight, you get, you get a, a dollar. dollar off your pizza on January 15th. Nice back door, but blood. Turnover. So here's McKee back the other way. Now Schreckengost. Knocked by eight. Rams need a big fourth quarter here. If they want to stay undefeated in section. The winner will bat sole possession of first and the leg up on the section championship. Now Frazier. Got shut off. And the Knights, as we mentioned, are going to be very patient. Schreckengost baseline. Back outside. And a three is drained by Jake Scheidt, his first of the night. And the lead back to 11, 56-45. Cochran off the back iron. And McKee the rebound. You, you think back to when Highlands got it to six. Yep. Missed their chance. Gave Knock a basket then on the other end. And, and that was just rebounding, Mike. They were hot, hustled to the ball. Here's Scheidt in front of the knock bench. Now to Schreckengost. And it's elementary night, Mike, and middle school night. Young guys are here to see him play. Schreckengost again. Wheeled around Pacey, put up a runner. It's off the front rim, and Christ lost it out of bounds. How many times have we done that? We, do, we don't catch the rebound. We deflect it out of bounds. It's an epidemic. 13 turnovers for the Golden Rams tonight, forcing nine, approaching their 15 for the season, Mike. And again, just seem out of sorts. And how much Saturday's affecting him, if anything. There you go. A steal by Cochran as he tipped it free. Had Myers ahead of the field, going to take it himself. It won't go. He'll draw the foul and shoot two at 6.30. Shite's going to pick up his third. Cochran only two for four from the line tonight. Well, the wireless zone is the largest independent Verizon wireless franchise in America, offering the most popular smartphones, tablets, connected devices, and all the latest accessories with award-winning customer service. Don't listen to those commercials you see on football games. Stop in today and see what makes Verizon the world's largest and most reliable network. Wireless Zone has 12 area locations, including six in the AK Valley. Rams fans, you can go to the Natrona Heights at the Walmart Plaza or at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall at J.C. Penney's across from Victoria's Secret. As Luke hits two out of two. Or find the Wireless Zone store nearest you simply by visiting wirelesszone.com. 56-47, the lead is nine. It's three possessions. Approaching the six-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Now driving in the baseline, we're going to get a foul on Highlands. Pacey, his third. It's only the second one on the Rams, second half in the mock cheer up from the knock fans in attendance here tonight. Well, they've only committed to, Mike. Good job by Swanger to get a piece of that. Deflection out of bounds. Make him inbounded again, 6-13 remaining. Section night, Derry's at York, and Freeport made the trip to Mount Pleasant. We'll be doing that one Friday or so. Yes, we will. Just two games this week. And we'll be back there home for two home games next week. Here's Christ the other way. All the way to the basket. Got it blocked by McKee. Frazier all the way down. He scores. 29 for Frazier. That's his career high, 58-47. Cochran, wow, man, they just won't go. go. Yeah, he's fouled. Luke will shoot two at 5:48. Every time we make a run, Mike. So far, Knock has had an answer. That one's on McKee. That's only his first. Luke will go to line shoot two. Cochran missed the first. He'll get another. Luke Smith three here tonight, Mike. That doesn't happen very often either. He is four for seven. Rams are 8 for 13. Makes a second. What's, we got a timeout by Highlands. The Stosh wants to talk it over. At 5.48 remaining, 
Luke Cochran in with nine points. It's a 30-second timeout, and it's a 10-point game for the Knights. Gives a chance to talk about the Anchor Inn, another Highlands basketball season. If you mean any one thing, post game at the Anchor Inn. You see a lot of familiar faces in the crowd, and they are always going to the Anchor Inn after. Joe, Andy, and Dee continue a family tradition started by the parents way back in 1953, the year of my birth, Mike. How about that? The original Anchor Burger, always a fan favorite. I've had many. You like the wing special, season signature wings, and daily special available on a blue plate. The kitchen's open at 11, so there's no better way to celebrate a high victory, which we're going to have to pull out here in the final five minutes and 48 seconds, then coming to the Anchor with family and friends. It's the Anchor in Freeport Road in the Trent Heights. Welcome aboard. Down 10, 548 to go here. Again, the Rams are going to have to do this with defense. And really, the pressure hasn't really bothered tonight's much. They've committed 11 turnovers so far. Frazier going to take it all the way home. 31 points for Scott Frazier, 60 to 48. And I'm thinking that's a career high. It is, literally having the night of his life. Cochran can't get it to finish. Rebound knock. Thanks. Great place to have a double dribble. Double dribble. He dribbled it once and he caught it again. Yep, Sank, the, Sank thought he got control of that dribble, Mike, but it actually dribbled to make offensive progress. That's why this double dribble. So, by the way, how excellent is Ron Richards at this? He's doing a very, very good job. Seriously. Johnny lost it. Knights back the other way. Not that the other guys haven't been good, too. It's just... Well, you I was... think he'd know. I... Now we get a foul. It's a block. On Cochran and Cochran. Better be careful. I thought he stepped. I thought he walked, Mike, before the foul. Luke's first. It is. That's the third against the Rams, so the Knights will just key it in now. Dom DeFrancis and Joe Zolchek having a discussion. Joe having a discussion. Maybe he saw what you saw, Dan. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh-oh. He's going to, yeah. So that's the discussion. He wanted it. It's not a shooting foul. Right. I never saw a shooting foul, Jim. Well, no, I didn't. And uh, and the interesting part was <laughs> the minute Joe said, come here to Ron McNabb, he goes, oh, no. Because he knew it wasn't going to be good. <laughs> he knew it wasn't going to be good. I thought he went up and came down into the man. A kickball. By Don right? Isn't, isn't that what you saw? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't see a foul at all, to be honest with you. But. Well, they've had, they had let a lot of that go. Th those types. That you, there have been a lot of could have been blocked charges, and I'm for that. I, I think the less of that, the better. Sanks for three out of the corner. It's off the back rim, and Pacey's got the rebound. Rams have it down 12, five minutes. Still time. Myers to Pacey. Drives in. Oh, Pacey got hammered by McKee. What'd they call? Are you serious? They call a walk. Yeah, he did. Oh, my. 15 high on his turnover. He, he, he hit McKee like McKee was a stone wall. Yep. He went down like he ran into a, well, either a, may, maybe, a, maybe a concrete wall, maybe, yeah. maybe a metal wall. We're I don't know. Out at 9 o'clock. Yeah, exactly. Get over it, Jake! Here's Frazier. Now to McKee out of the corner. And the words no come out of Ron's mouth when it comes exactly. to making any type of offensive penetration. He's going with 60s enough. Yep. 60 to 48. He's going to freeze a 60. Which ironically is what Hines gives up her game. And they've been giving up a lot more, especially in second halves. And guess what? They give up 48, Mike, and that's right where they are. Ironic. Yeah, they give up 48. Highlands the last two games has averaged giving up 48 in the second half. That's not good. That's not going to happen tonight because these guys don't, aren't going to shoot the ball. They don't need to. Here's Frazier around Cohen. But then got shut Ooh. off by Myers. Oh, nice back door went to McKee, but he didn't have anything, so he brought it back out. Now Scheidt will reset things. They're done, Mike. They're freezing on six. I believe you're right. Rams try the double team. And a foul by Highlands. I think it's going to be on Johnny. See what Ron Richards has to say. Luke caught 
for his second. Team seven. Give me team four. They have seven. So Twelve point game. Again, Friday night at Mount Pleasant. And we'll give you next week's schedule Friday because we're going to be busy. Oh, bad pass. The key throws it away. Amos one there, yeah. Amos one there. Hey, my coach Star says we played a Mount Pleasant. When um, Kratz was playing. I think he might be right. You know, we played back. football out there. No, basketball, Kratz, remember, got thrown out of the game, arm barred somebody. Go back and do some Well, if we were there, I wasn't. How's that? Go back and research it. Trust me, I didn't do a game there. Cochran missed a shot. Rebound knock. I would know if I was there. I was not. If, if we played out there, we didn't do the game. Here's Sachs. We'll test our memory. Again, we're not testing my memory. I know for sure. Here's Strike, and he's fouled by Cocker. You know, Mike, I've had a longer relationship with you than my wife. Uh-huh. Okay, you the longest, 20 years. Right. And I recently discovered my wife is always right. Yes, exactly. So I'm going to say the same thing here. All we right? didn't, if we, if, I'm, I'm not saying we didn't play there. I'm saying we didn't do the game. You and I did not do the game. I promise. Yes, dear. <laughs> Shites fouled by Christ. <laughs> That's Johnny third. It is. This is a key, and this is now six, so everybody's in the bonus from here on. 3.09 to go. And Rand's got to get him at the line. Yeah, you got to get him at the line. You get foul Shite. I'd start now. And he's a 20. Yeah, I'd start now. And he made two in a row the last time he was there, but. But that's what they're doing, Mike. And now uh, Bajuzic comes back in. Thanks to get a rest. December 10th, 2012. Mount Pleasant beat Highland 60 to 43 out there is the game. So Stosh is right, but the question but, was. Oh, the game happened. Why, yeah, why didn't we do it? Shake missed, by the way. We're making a trip to Mount Pleasant if we didn't have to. That's why. Here's, here's Myers. Kicked it back out to Christ. Three ball on the way. It's off the rim, no good. Rebound. Cochran's going to chase it down in front of the Highlands bench, but Pajusic stole it. Out to Frazier for the lay in. Ron McNabb wants a timeout at 2.45 to go, and Knock leads it by 14, 62 to 48. Reminder about Mason Elite Hoops at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall. Individualized basketball training for third graders all the way up through varsity and beyond. You can call them 724-980-2100. 33 for Mr. Scott Fraser. Fraser didn't get on late, Mike. No, and he had 16 at halftime. He's at 17 in the second half. Or he's at 16 after the third quarter. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I had him 16 at halftime. Right, and yeah. 16. And 16 after three. This is a four, wow. uh, explosion. Well, explosion here in the second half, anyway. Yeah. So, 62-48. It's a 14-point game. And Ron McNabb thought he had enough when he had 60. I'm sure. He, I think he's probably trying to re-emphasize the point that we really have enough now that we have 62. And that, that's what he's telling the folks now. Mike, top five, Highlands holding the fourth place, but if they get on tonight, Hawk may be jumping in there. Quaker Valley still undefeated at 9-0. and They host Hopewell tonight. Ambridge has moved up to second, Mike. They are 8-4, but 3-0 in section. They host Blackhawk. Newcastle fell to third after losing to Quaker Valley. They're at Beaver. Ringle, 9-1, 2-0 and in section. They're at Union Top. The pollsters really love Ambridge. Um, and you said they played that out in Vegas, right. so they must have played some high rollers out there, literally. Yes. <laughs> Got there, hit a 10 team parlay or something. <laughs> Caleb Radishek back in the game. So here's uh, Cochran. Brady! Brady, come on! Drives into the paint, goes all the way up and under. 
lost a couple of bodies down Yeah, here. two knights went down yeah. hard. Luke went down hard. Oh, man. Tell you what. And Luke might have hit his head as he went down. Let's Shake. see if he's all right. Going to pick up his fourth, and Luke's going to... And Shite's got his fifth. Oh, and the last thing you wanted him to do was foul yeah, out if you were trying to foul him. Right. Hey, he made two in a row earlier, though. Then he missed. So Ryan Lang's going to check in in his spot. Freshman. Got quiet in here, Mike. It did. The Shite went down hard. He's trying to gather himself as he goes over to the bench. Very impressed by the Knights tonight. Got to tell you. Yeah. We didn't quite, you don't know until you see them and, and see other teams play against your team, but the Rams are uh, in danger of losing two in a row for the first time in quite a while. Luke now in double figures with 10. Two field goals, hasn't hit a three here tonight. Rest from the line. Second one on the way is in and out and in again. And it's 62-50. Can't get back on a double knuckle set. Last time the Rams lost two in a row was the opening tournament at Pine Richland last oh, year. Boy. Yeah. Luke almost got that one. Buddy. They lost to Butler in Pine Richland there. That's the last time they had lost two in a row. That's that's a lot of games ago. Put him in. One save. One and one. Put him in. That's 32 games ago is the last time they lost two in a row. Hmm. You know, I believe I was at that Mount Pleasant. Oh, you may have gone. Yeah. That was never my point. My point was I know I wasn't there. Radishak and Swanger out. Pacey and Kreiss in. They're going offense defense here. 12 point game, 231 to go. And this will be Adam Bajuzic at the line. He's 67%. He hadn't scored tonight. I believe he had he had 14 on Saturday at their legs. Price the rebound. Here's Cochran. Chance to get it to single digits. Four to ten. Off the rim. Rebound Kreiss. No foul. Say it's off Johnny out of bounds, and Knock will get it at 221. The return visit will be Tuesday, January 29th at Knock. And I, we're going to get this on record early. It will snow that. Scott, Ryan! See them later this month, huh? When you have a short section like that, Mike, it's three weeks. Yep. Price gets a foul backcourt as he fouled Ryan Lang. Johnny has four. Luke has three. Corey Myers has three. Luke has four. Has four. Yes, sir. Pacey has three. Yeah, Pacey picked up his three early and hasn't uh, had any sense. Yeah. So this is Ryan Lang, the freshman, five points on the night. Those came back in the first period. A 12-point a lead. Now it's 13. 63 to 50. We've got 20 points from the other guys tonight, Mike, other than Johnny and Luke. Nine coming from Mason Swanger. Yeah, you can't expect 44, yeah. though. Seven for Lang. 14 point game. He's only a freshman, Mike. Myers, nice up and under move. That's four for Corey, and it's 64 52. And Pacey fouls the Juzic backcourt. That'll be the, I think the 10th or the 9th. That's the 10th. They'll shoot two now the rest of the way. The Juzic just missed the front end of a one and one earlier. 2.06 to go. Don Pacey, Mike, look at his knees. He's got about 30 strawberry floor burns on there. <laughs> Two minutes to go. Here's Pacey. Myers right side. Back out to Pacey for three. On the way. It's off the back rim. The rebound, and McKee has it. Out to Lang, and Lang is fouled by Swang. They've done a great job of boxing out there. They sure have. Got to give them credit. They were... I don't want to stand their size, but they're all 6'2". But when you got 6'7 in there, Johnny Christ, but he's only one guy. Very solid fundamentally. Yeah. And that's Ron McNabb's team. 
Yeah, 21 years at this. 14 at Burl, 7 at Knox. <laughs> and Mackey is just losing his mind because they keep missing these free throws. <laughs> yeah. Drives the coach crazy. Losing his mind over it. As I always said, I am here. Wang makes one out of two. Al McGuire used to say, the greatest thing about freshmen is they become sophomores. Ain't that true. <laughs> like a big game over the weekend. Uh, we played Saturday. North Catholic beat Olsh, 87-81. And North Catholic was the number four team in 3A. Olsh was the number two team in 2A. That Olsh team made it to the finals last year. And uh, what's the boss's name in Pittsburgh? Paul Spadafore. Yeah, his nephew played on that team. He's a great player and again um, the North Catholic team always good so uh, that was a very interesting game over the weekend. Just want to remind everybody once again, Saturday night, want to do some gambling, don't have to go to the casino, come up to the night at the races, sponsored by the Basketball Boosters, the Toronto Heights VFW, doors open at 6, first race is 7, dinner, dessert, draft beer, all for $20, see Kate Vila or you can buy them at the door. We sat behind her at the uh, middle school yesterday. Yeah, what did you think of the middle school? The teams? Yeah. Liked them both. Um, really liked Jimmy Coons um, with the eighth grade. He was tremendous. I liked uh, Jordan Tavares, the seventh grade team. Goodbye, Dom Pacey. That's his fifth. A plank walker. Um, so, yeah, those are... Uh, that was, that was a lot of fun last night. They played Burl and won yep. both games, 7th grade and 8th grade. Mackie McNabb played for uh, Burl, 8th grade. He'll be yeah, he, it's very impressive. Yep. Next year. We're waiting for the honk. It's going to be Carter Leary, the yep. freshman. And speaking of freshmen, Ryan Lang right back at it. He makes the first. He's right at his average of seven points a game. And Ron McNabb's blood pressure lowers a few ticks. 67-52. I think he's safe over there. 15-point lead. I just had that one run in him, Mike, and they cut it to six. The last time the Rams lost here was on January 13th, 2017. And Swanger's got four threes. As he hits one out of the corner, and Tyler Stachinski calls timeout with 1.31 to go. It's 68-55, a 13-point game. He now has a dozen. Kiski beat them here in a section game, 66-59. And then the Highlands went to Kiski later in the season and beat them, which is what they're going to have to do to knock here yeah. if they want to uh, get back in the race. Remember last year, Frank Regional was the opposite. We lost out there, beat them here, and shared the section title, but it still appears on That's the banner. Split. Exactly. Yeah. And Mike, the Golden Rams are going to have to go back to work here, and uh, again, just seem out of sorts tonight, don't you think? Yeah, and I think the Knights had a lot to do with that. I do, too. And and, you know, a lot of times you, you got to give the opponent credit. And I think this is one of those. There's, there's no officials blaming tonight or any of that. As badly as the game was officiated Saturday, has been as well as this one's been. And, you know, yeah. that's not the issue. This is uh, – they were beaten by a better team tonight, and that's exactly what happened. But it was little things like Johnny and Luke running into each other and Johnny running into Casey down the other end. Just the, the coordination wasn't there. And a great thing about – Tyler's teams in the seven years he's been here is they've got better as the year's gone on. And and they play their best basketball in February and in, and sometimes even in March. So Come on, man. out of bounds. To out of bounds. Bring yep. it up. You're allowed to. What minute, Ryan? What minute, Carter Leary picks up the foul. It'll be his first. And now the parade to the stripe continues as Ryan Lang getting foul shooting practice. We'll shoot two more. At 128 to go. He is five out of six. First one is good. Make it six of seven. Hey, Johnny, hey, Johnny six. And over his average. And Raw McNabb points out that Johnny's in. <laughs> Scott Frazier's doubled his average, yeah. plus. 
And again, Johnny's no longer a secret, Mike. Word is out. And Johnny came out in the third quarter and tried to lead the charge. Two more for, and it hasn't been Sanks tonight. Sanks has had 11. Yep. He had three threes. And other guys have done it. Frazier mainly. He had some big ones. Uh, Myers with a runner. In and out, no good. Rebound the Knights. And it's, guess what? Ryan Lang free throw shooting practice continues at Graham Arena. 117 to go, a 15 point knock lead. He's loving it. He's in double figures just based on foul shots alone. He has a three pointer to go along with it. Did Hines ever have the lead in this game, Mike? Sure. They went 11 8 and 15 13. All right. It's been so long ago. It was. And after the 15 13 is when that was it. That's my Ron Coleman impression, by the way. <laughs> right. Lang hits two. 72-55. That matches their biggest lead. Let's go. Work it. Cochran. Myers. Swanger. Now to Myers, and it's blocked by Schreckengoss. Myers follows it and scores. Six for Corey. Go get it, Ryan! And the trouble with thing, Mike, that's the third game in a row where the team has got into the 70s on a gold ramp. Now foul on Highlands. It'll be on Myers. I think he got Shrek and Goss there. Myers is out. He fouls out at 52 seconds. Caleb Bradishak will come in. 72-57 is the big crowd that we had here tonight is filing out. We'll go to Mount Pleasant on Friday. First is good. By the way, the Rams beat Mount Pleasant when they came back here the following year from those uh, two games earlier in this decade. Sounds like Bootsy's in the house behind us, right? <laughs> Baby boy Bootsy. Shrekin got six, too. He's only got four. He averages eight. But again, it's been Frazier. 50 seconds, 74 57. Well, it's been a long time. It's been two years since Highlands has lost a game at home. It's been a longer time since they've taken a beating like this. Cochran missed a shot. A rebound underneath is to Leary, and he's fouled. He'll shoot two. Carter Leary will go to the line. And Carter not yet on the score sheet. He's so trying to get his first varsity point. He can set a career high here. He and he does. does. First point for Carter. He'll get another. 74-58. Makes them both. Thirty-one seconds. I think the Knights are going to dribble it out. A fifteen-point game. I believe and, so, Mike. And the Rams' fifteen-game home winning streak that spanned over two years is over and over with a thud as Knock comes in here and beats the Rams by fifteen, seventy-four to fifty-nine. <laughs> Scott Fraser was asked, "Can I take a shot?" <laughs> the answer. The, the answer to that is no. You already got enough. The exuberance of high school. Players. Son, you've already got enough. Yep. <laughs> That's it. The final score. Knock 74 and Highlands 59. Dean, final thoughts. Yeah, Mike, like you said, got to give the Knock Knights a lot of credit. Came here tonight with a chance to take control of the section. Said in the pregame, had to protect the house. Didn't do so tonight. They broke a long wind streak, and uh, we're going to have to go get them out in Saxonburg. All right, well, we'll try to get back on track Friday night. The Rams will go out to Mount Pleasant. That is section now, as we mentioned, so we'll be there for that one, and hopefully we get a, get a victory and get back on track. All right, thanks to everybody upstairs, Hired Muscle Dom, and to uh, Landon Signorella for their help tonight. Once again, that final score. Highlands, se er, I'm so used to it here. <laughs> Knock 74, Highlands 59 for the Dean Mike Choma. This is Mike Pavlik. So long, everybody.